somebody asked me why I don't drink iced coffee living in Florida. Well, iced coffee is more tempting to put a bunch of shit in it if you can make it yourself, and I don't trust myself with what I'm going to put in it. Some of these places have the... I don't mind putting a little whipped cream in my warm coffee, but uh, some of these places have like whipped cream. It's like a it's like a Sunday bar, you know what I mean? So I don't know. Iced coffee also the real one of the most important things. I don't feel like it, it gives you that oomph that you're looking for, you know? Because anybody that drinks coffee, like a real coffee drinker, is addicted to coffee, and. Um, that's one thing I just don't, that's the, that's one of the most things I missed most, not the most most, but one of the things that um, I remembered about going to jail was there was no coffee cream, there was no half and half, so I hated that, and um, I kind of just, coffee, coffee, somebody that doesn't perform well in the bedroom um, coffee with half and half is fine enough for me and a lot of these gas stations have little machines now so you can kind of like pick the thing and then it grinds it for you and and what the biggest hack of gas station coffee is you stop the machine halfway through and start it again and it gives you two it gives you like an extra jolt so this coffee right here is pretty pretty strong I prefer racetrack, but Circle K's isn't bad. 7-Eleven, if they got the machine. Wawa's coffee tastes like water to me, so I don't really mess with theirs or any other um, gas stations. And I definitely don't go to Starbucks.